Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and I can hardly hold in my excitement for this episode. This game just keeps on freaking giving. The developer has added another feature to this game that is truly going to change at least making videos in this game because we now have a screen recorder right in the game and you might be thinking well what's the point of that i mean everybody can get obs for free the way this screen recorder works is it takes frame by frame a screenshot puts every single image into a file and then you can use a program like ffmpeg to make perfectly crispy 60 fps recordings of pretty much anything as long as the game doesn't crash you can do it. So no longer do I have to, you know, speed up time and get these still very clunky recordings. Now we can actually do some serious destruction and watch it in 60 frame goodness because the developers of this game are fan-freaking-tastic. I'm gonna stop talking about it, though. Let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, we have the Jericho here. This is a good thing. We're gonna click the screen recorder button, and we are going to record. Now, the game audio is going to be silent now, but when I start shooting this, you'll see I should be getting some lag sooner or later here. We have hit pretty much lag zone, as you can see, but once we stop this recording and extract it, we should get a perfectly crispy 60 FPS recording. So let's just let this end. I think I'm happy with that. We are going to stop that recording and it goes right into the files here. Now, we just have to extract that via FFMPEG and turn it into a video file instead of a crap load of image files. 659 images to be more specific. All right, hopefully this first test run worked. I'm going to be experiencing this first time with you guys as well. And here we go. Oh, welcome to 60 frame goodness. It's nice to see that the sound's back as well. I didn't know if it would keep the sound or not. But yes, as you can see, now lag is gone. That wasn't a crazy big explosion, but we can get into some serious destruction now with this. So welcome back to Acacia Apartments. Uh, I know we go here a lot. It's just, it's really nice because uh, it's not a very big map. So when I get to these crazy mods, it doesn't lag too much. Speaking of mods, the one I wanted to try today is uh, the Earthquake mod. I don't think I ever actually showed you guys this just because it was so freaking laggy. Obviously, a good time now at the screen recorder. Now, this spawns a random Earthquake, but I have modded it to spawn the Maximum Earthquake, which is a uh, Category 10. And that's going to happen in... A well, right now, hopefully. Okay, yep, definitely happening because I have stopped moving. This is why I needed this screen recorder. Well, I hope that was fun to watch because that was 45 minutes of me sitting here. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously this recorder is amazing, but you still kind of have to be patient when it comes to doing this insanity. All right, let's take a break from the destruction. We're going to play a little mini game here. This is said to be the first platformer in Teardown. I can't think of any other ones, and uh, I don't think we'll get through the full campaign. But I always love these little mini games inside of Teardown. Oh my god, it's, it's really freaking weird having this side-scrolling view. All right, anyways, I think the goal is to obviously get to the end here. Great start. First jump, I die. How cool is this, though? It's like a whole different game. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Wait, where, where, where am I supposed to? Ah, okay. Ah, I see it. All right, so we got some platforms going up here. Oh, wait, I can't read right now. I'm too busy focused. Hold the use tool to charge your kick. All right, so I have a kick now. Am I supposed to kick this? Charge it? <laughs> Shoot, this is insane. All right, well, I'm not sure how many lives I have, but I've used a lot of them already. All right, it's very hard to see like how close I am to the sides. Okay, there we go. Ah, ah, I don't like it. Just, just let me stay on the ground. Is this the end? I think that was the end of the first level. And kick. Goodbye, big block. So the yellow's the kick. Oh my god, there's like zombie dudes here. What the hell's wrong with you guys? Get out of here. All right, so this is a torch. The flame inside is feeling the spirits. I'm assuming I gotta kill the spirits to get rid of them. Oh my god. I wonder what happens if I kick this into it. Let's find out. Oh, 
That actually worked. All right. Looks like the next room is over here. Dude, this is insane. Now, I could play this for a long time, but I think you get the idea. I just like to show you guys some mini games. And this one with the physics aspect, really freaking cool. We have some new Sonic vehicles as well. Is this the gotta go fast Sonic? <laughs> yes. Oh my God, he is really freaking fast. Okay, Sor Sonic. I'm so sorry, buddy. Hold on. Let's see if you're still working here. You are. Let's just scrape that face into nothing. <laughs> I love that there's blood inside. That's so wrong. I'm sorry, Sonic. That was not intentional. Oh God, I've, I've destroyed Tails already as well. Tails, it's okay. Oh my God, I just destroyed Sonic with Tails. This is insane. I'm sorry about the view. I'm trying to get it better. It is not the easiest with all the mods that I have on. Where am I? Oh my God, Tails, you're too fast. So, God, I can't control it. I'm sorry, Sonic. <laughs> is first person any better? No, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think it's supposed to be like this. I just destroyed myself with it too. Okay, I'm doing, I'm not even intentionally doing some damage, but <laughs> look at poor Tails. Oh my God, look at the other Tails. Holy crap. Jesus Christ, what the? I didn't realize this was a war zone. I thought this was just a war map. I'm being shot at. Well, this feels fitting. I don't know if this is the enemy or not. This could be the enemy now, at least. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh God, I'm actually in a war. You, how is he shooting? Look at this body. How are you still alive, sir? Get on. <laughs> God, you know what? This feels pretty cheap. This is great. I sure do love airstrikes. Yeah, you know what? They are definitely deceased. I have no idea what team I'm on. I'm just killing anything that moves. All right, I think we're gonna have to go for the bigger one here. 105 mi mil? Yeah, let's do that. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is really fun. Okay, maybe I shouldn't cheat. Let's actually experience this as it's supposed to be. Oh, would you look at that? De oh. I guess his hand was on the trigger. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. I love that people are starting to do like AI and everything because it just makes these so much more fun. And the AI is only going to get better over time. Obviously, right now it's a little basic. Oh, yeah, I bought, I got this mod, the Dodeca shotgun. Let's try this out. Holy Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Well, this is a little one sided, but that's okay. Look at the crater that I just made. Hello? Goodbye. Well, you know what they say, nobody wins in war. Let's try and build a tunnel here and just see if we can get over to the enemy. <laughs> Dude, this gun is insane. <laughs> Look at this, I'm building a whole tunnel across the map. Where's the enemies? Oh, goodbye. Are you the enemy or are you just dumb? Like, I don't... Okay, yeah, he's definitely trying to shoot me. I don't know why they don't seem to shoot behind them, though. So we'll just take you. Come on, bud. Oh, my God. This is way more fun now. Oh, this this one's good. All right, th this shall be my gun now. Oh, I guess it's not my gun anymore. Damn it. Well, I don't know what team I'm on, but I think I won. I don't see any more enemies anymore. Look at this war zone. This is such a good map too for like trench warfare. This would be really fun in multiplayer. That's for damn sure. Oh my God, it keeps getting better. This literally just came out as I'm recording this. This is autopilot paint. You may be asking yourself, what the hell is autopilot paint? Well, let me show you, all right? So we are going to uh, design something to get this car to hopefully, you know, jump over here. So right now, I'm literally just holding down my button and painting a line. And hopefully, assuming I did this right, you can see the little green thing going on. Uh, we can tell pretty much anything to follow this line and, well, go die, hopefully. <laughs> This might not work only because you can't really tell it to break. And I think this churn's going to be interesting. But let's tell this guy to pilot this. And oh my god. All right. That one might have been too fast. Let's try this guy. Okay. 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 Problem. All right. I feel like that was a little bit too complex. Let's just tell them to go down the bouncy bridge. That's what this is called, by the way. Because once we get on here, as you can see, it's bouncy. This will actually be really cool because I can probably spam cars. Let's just get this guy first because he's all, all he has to do is go straight. Goodbye. Godspeed. <laughs> this is so insane. So now you can make like racing AI just by yourself if you want. It's a little drunk, but that's okay. I'm just here to crash things anyways. So everybody, go join him. It will be fun. You guys won't die at all. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my God. What the hell? Okay. That was a bit aggressive. It looks like I can only control one at a time, I think. Man, you really put that tree in the way, didn't you? Okay, your, your turn. 
<laughs> love it this is so great oh man ai is the funnest thing i tell you that much all right let's try this again i have set it up and i put the car directly in front of it so oops no i don't want to get in it i want to change to not a race pilot go go gadget car i don't know why they're just really good at not going straight well that's not what i hope for but hey that's okay because i can still use it for fit things like this this guy doesn't even need to go straight as long as he just makes it there godspeed fellow station wagon godspeed you dummy Oh, God. There's so many uses for this. It's insane. Try my luck with the uh, transport truck. What the hell? I can't even keep it straight on an ordinary bridge. There we go. I just want to see if it can hold this. Not if I'm going to freaking hit everything. What am I stuck on? I don't think, you know, trucks are really made for inclines because I think my wheels aren't getting grip. Yeah, I am off of the ground right now. Well, rest in peace, truck. Rest in peace. Ah, uh, dude, I've missed bridges. This was like one of the first things in this game was like dynamic bridges. And uh, honestly, it's good to be back. Wow, this is a lot stronger than I thought, actually. Hold on. Knock it down. Come on. Is it impossible to destroy? I don't think I can destroy it. Yeah, I think these are impenetrable. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> Earthquake tests. <laughs> oh, oh, that was just as good anyway. <laughs> Yo, dog, you ever want to play Minecraft but not play Minecraft? Check out this. Just like Minecraft. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Loading's a little slow, but you can generate a whole terrain as you explore. I don't know how complex it is. Wow, this feels like Minecraft. This is very odd. Um, I was hoping there'd be trees and everything. It's really cool watching it slowly spawn in. Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, we're back. It looks like I have been reset. So always let your worlds load before you jump on them, ladies and gentlemen. It might just be blocks, but this is really cool for the future. We now have randomly generated mapping and teared out as well, clearly. Dude, this is insane. If only it loaded a little bit quicker before, you know, essentially you're almost falling off the map. All right, and welcome back to one of the coolest OG maps. We are at the junkyard once again, because if you remember when the black hole came out... This was the map I did it on, and obviously I had to uh, speed up my recording last time. I wanted to come back to the black hole only because, well, we now have that screen recorder, and I think it'll be really pleasing to watch here because, well, there's so many moving parts. So I have the black hole launcher out. There's a bunch of different types of black holes. I've customized it to expand out pretty rapidly, and we are going to record this. I'm hoping I can actually move around while doing this. We'll find out. Let's just get it done, and, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoy. And wow, the leg just immediately went away. Look at the amount of destruction. We ripped up the tarmac. It actually didn't reach, reach the other parking lots, but uh, I think you guys get the idea. This should be really cool. All right, and for the grand finale, welcome back to Voxel Plaza. Now, this map has had a pretty big update, as you can see. I didn't even know that till now, but you can totally customize it. Whether it be weather, if you want UFOs, robots, helicopters, hell, flooding. I'm going to disable a lot of this because we are going to get really laggy here if I en enable a lot of this. But I do want building physics on for sure. And let's just try at the start without interiors. Hello, giant robot. <laughs> we'll have to play a lot more with this later on. Because right now, this is just merely a canvas for another mod. But, oh my god, it's so nice to see traffic around. Now, I did turn off the, tr the parking traffic, so... Hopefully, we don't lag too much. I love this map, though. Honestly, best city map, in my opinion. And it's fantastic that it's in the middle of a farmer's field. All right, but this is why I'm here. We now have a nuke remote. This is a brand new nuke. Uh, other nukes in this game were essentially just... Why? Why am I doing this? I seem to be on ice. Okay, well, that's going to be annoying because I want to... Uh... Oh, my God. 
All right, what the hell is going on? All right, I was fine on the ground. That building must actually be made of an ice texture. <laughs> that's that's so weird. Why is this ice? I can't even run. I'm trying to run right now. I can only run backwards. Anyways, I'm getting way off on a tangent right now. Let's just go over to this building, I guess. But yes, this is a brand new nuke, and this one is supposed to be way more impressive than the other ones. You know what? We're too high up now. I'm way too picky. We, we have to get a good view. This should be good, I think. All right, so I'm not going to talk about it. You know how nukes work. We're just going to try it out here and, well, enjoy the show. All right, well, as you saw, a little bit of an issue with that. I guess going up to the top was a bad idea because the mod thinks that's ground level and that's why the smoke came kind of through the air. Uh, also, I, I should mention you can actually customize this mod. I didn't make it too powerful, so it looks like the uh, buildings more or less survived it. Obviously, the cars all around the map, though, have been totally freaking destroyed. So let's edit this a bit and maybe try a different view of scenery as well. All right, welcome back to Acacia Apartments. Now, I've already tried this with three buildings and it was too much for my PC. I crashed after two hours of uh, trying to record it. So let's see if my PC can handle two. Enjoy the show, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as you saw, it survived the absolute chaos that is this nuke. I am so excited to play some more with this. Uh, for, for, for the record, this is only at about, I would say, 70% power. My PC just can't handle anymore. But yeah, clearly 70% is more than enough. And on that, guys, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new screen recorder as well as a bunch of mods today. As always, if you do want to download anything that you saw, I'll have links in the description. And yeah, thank you so much for your continued support guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one